Adventures. Good morning, y'all. We're Allison and Eric from The Endless Adventure. That's right, we are officially back. We have actually been driving all over the United States on a mission this year to see as much of this country as humanly possible. And we have finally made it to Denver, Colorado, also known as the Mile High City. We're going to be taking you on a tour of the city, hitting up some of our favorite stops, diving into the culture, and of course, tasting some of the delicious food that Colorado is known for. We did it, you guys. We are officially one mile above sea level. Denver is literally the mile high city. We're at the Capitol building right now, and if you stand on this step right here, you are officially 5,280 feet above sea level. Denver was originally founded in 1858 as a mining town right smack in the middle of the Colorado Gold Rush. And while Denver itself might not be in the mountains, it is surrounded by mountain peaks. In fact, there are 200 named mountain peaks visible from Denver, and a whopping 32 of those are over 13,000 feet. Of course, there is tons of incredible nature surrounding the city, but the city itself is more green than you might think, with over 200 parks and green spaces. All right, enough talking, y'all. Let's go take on Denver. Our first stop takes us to the Denver Central Market. It's this huge food hall that's home to so many awesome vendors. Here you're going to find bakeries, they have a fish market, fresh fruits and vegetables, tons of meat options, and of course, delicious, delicious food, which is mainly what we're after today. We're loving the vibe of this market. It is beautiful in here. All the vendors are buzzing around, getting prepared for the day. The only problem is that we waited and got too hungry and there are way too many delicious options. I don't know how we're ever gonna choose. We finally made a decision. I went with a big old Colorado style burrito and Eric got some delicious Texas style brisket. As you can see, this baby is huge and what makes it Colorado style is that it is smothered in this green chili sauce. There's potatoes and eggs, chorizo, pico on the side. It's covered in cheese and sour cream. Let's see if this tastes as good as it looks. It's super savory, a little spicy, a little smoky. It's got all the right amounts of cheese and creams in there and the chorizo cooked to perfection. I got my delicious looking sandwich at the local butcher right over there. All right, Texas style brisket made with Colorado beef. This is some of the most delicious brisket I've ever had. It is just so juicy in there, and it is so peppery. That's what I love about it, like a burst of pepperiness. And of course, the brioche is nice and thin, so it's less bread to meat ratio, which I love. <laughs> Denver is a super artistic city. There's tons of amazing street art and a bunch of galleries to explore. We definitely recommend taking a tour through the Rhino District and see some of the most incredible murals you'll ever see. We've decided to come to a very interesting and pretty strange art museum. It's called Meow Wolf. Meow Wolf, why not? This epic follows the rise of the legendary navigator pilot, Silverthorn. We're only about 20 feet inside our first exhibit, and already, y'all, this is the wildest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. This place is intense, you guys. There are just lights everywhere, like crazy special effects, epic art installations. It's a lot to take in. I feel like they just had a hundred different artists come in here and do whatever they wanted, and yeah. it's magical. But man, there is so much attention to detail. Every single wall, every light fixture, everything has been painstakingly crafted. It's like movie level quality stuff. It's, it's very wild. cool. y'all. <laughs> Out of my way, Martians. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with the level of attention to detail in here. I mean, this is sweet. <laughs> oh, it works. This is the quantum stairwell. Woo we actually have no idea where we are. You just go through any door that you see. Sometimes yeah. you end up in a stairwell, sometimes you end up in a wild room. Who knows? We figure if we go through enough exit doors, we will actually exit the building. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Well, we survived Meow Wolf. Man, it's gonna take me a second for my eyes to adjust. That was so fluorescent neon black light in there. Woo! That was such a cool and weird experience. Downtown Denver is full of so many museums, but we actually came a little bit outside of Denver to go to a more unique museum. 
This is the Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum. It is a real airport hangar that is just so freaking massive on the inside. Everywhere you look, you're gonna see aircraft from all different time periods, some really small and quirky, some huge. It's crazy to be able to see all this stuff up close. Like you get so close to the props and all the internal mechanisms inside the aircraft. It's freaking sweet. Awesome. Yeah, it's freaking expect sweet. Us to be here. <laughs> Look, they even got R2 up there. <laughs> you guys, I was puzzling over what the heck this is, and then I saw the rest of it. It's a freaking pod racer. <laughs> it's another Star Wars craft. Very fast it is, but very slow we are for not realizing that this is not a real thing. <laughs> Well, this was a more amazing experience than we ever thought it would be. There are just so many aircraft all over the place. You get up close and personal with them. They have people walking around that know everything, so you can ask them any question you have. Yeah, you can get full-on tours of cockpits. You can do simulators. They've got a bunch of science experiments going over here. Yeah. It's definitely fun for kids and adults alike. Yeah, but if you come here, give yourself a couple hours. And take <laughs> your time and take it all in. It is yeah. freaking amazing. Denver is a huge beer city. There are over 150 breweries in this town, if you can believe that. And of course, the main one that you might be most familiar with is Coors. It's actually over in Golden, which is just a skip over to the west of Denver. We highly recommend checking it out if you're a fan of Coors. Make sure you book the tours in advance because they do fill up very quickly. We are bigger fans of Blue Moon. So we came back to the Rhino District to check out their brewery and it is freaking amazing. It also looks like it's in a giant aircraft hangar, but it is so cavernous in here. And what we love most about it is that you can see the brewing going on right back there. You see these huge steel tanks where they're just working all their magic and making this delicious orange substance for us to enjoy. <laughs> Cheers to an amazing day in Denver. We've got a seat at this awesome little circular bar and check it out, they even have a blue moon up there. <laughs> Did you notice that? It looks like something straight out of Meow Wolf. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? visited a tasty market, we went to some amazing museums, we tried some local brews, and now it is time to try one more dish that Colorado is famous for. Would you all have guessed that Colorado has its own style of pizza? Say hello to the mountain pie. We came to Bojo's, which is the inventor of the Colorado style pizza, and they are known for doing this beautiful hand rolled dough. They make it daily, it's super fresh, and then they pile on the ingredients in the middle like a mountain. And the really interesting thing is that you order your pizza by the pound. You can do one pound, two pound, up to five pounds. So this is a two pounder, right? This is a two pounder. Perfect which for is two people, I think. Very hefty. And another fun thing about the pizza is that they say that the dessert is included. So the crust is actually kind of sweet and they give you a whole bottle of honey. So you're supposed to dip the crust in honey. So you got your super savory pizza pie and then a delicious honey dessert on the side. We ended up going with the hipster which believe it or not has spinach, roasted red peppers, pineapple, pepperoncini peppers, mozzarella, and ricotta and then we added pepperonis to it. We switched spots because the lighting is awful that way because I have this giant TV behind me and all the light is reflecting onto Allison right now. Also, everyone in the entire restaurant staring at me, and I'm like, why are they staring at me? It's because they're all watching the TV. <laughs> it's like an inch Currently above my like head. like a herd of cows yeah. behind you. <laughs> but anyways, I want to try this freaking pizza. Look at that cheese. It is just perfectly hot, piping hot cheese. See, this is what makes it Colorado style. There's like an inch worth of toppings on top of this dough, y'all. A delicious bite of the Colorado mountains. It's just good as it looks, y'all. Holy cow, you guys, there's pineapple in there. I really had no idea. I don't think I was paying attention when you described what was on the pizza. You definitely were. I ordered the pizza, by yeah. the way. <laughs> there's so many toppings on top of this thing. I can't keep them on there. But the star of this pizza is definitely the toppings. I mean, the dough is awesome, but it's only like yay thick. So you get this burst of just like saltiness, then a burst of sweetness from those pineapples on there. Of course, we got classic mozzarella on there, but there's also big chunks of ricotta. So you just get like this burst of creaminess on there. All right, confirm. Pizza, delicious, especially with honey. You don't have to just put it on the crust, put it all over the dang pizza. But we have had a wonderful time exploring Denver today. We hope we encourage y'all to visit. 
There are many more adventures ahead though, so we'll see you on the road.